I try to create this new mythology using elements from ancient cultures and mixing them with elements from pop culture, like uh, comics and science fiction movies. So I try to mix the autobiographical and the universal conception of myth and those different elements. I try to go to the past, talk those elements and transfer it to the present. So trying to mix the present and the past and I don't know, try to create, I think that is the way to create this new, this new myth with this character and trying to include myself and my family and other person, you know, like outside. I began to use fabric because I wanted to translate the images I was painting into a three-dimensional object. The other part is like uh, my mother when I when, when I was a child with my brother. She she made to us like different suits and we were playing and we were like a, also being like a, these monsters, these these all these mythological <laughs> creatures. So in a way, it was to combine all those elements. I think the scale was really, really important to transcend the relationship between the viewer and the toy or the viewer like or something that they can play with it. This is more like, okay, this is, could be like a, like a totem, like something is more like a, like a presence. I work with community to make this piece. It's about identity in a way. This Thunderbird, this version of the Thunderbird is about identity and how the shallow community see themselves and what the things about identity. I was making these feathers for this sculpture and I, and I allowed the community to work with them and put the elements that they want. The main idea was that they include something meaningful to them in the piece. So, and they can create different layers. Um, they can see themselves and they can see the community or they can see their friends, their family that is, that is, that is getting part of this, of this piece. This piece has life of itself because in a way it has some kind of vibe like a graffiti wall, you know, that people leave their mark and they live having this exchange with people, with materials, I think in a way it's like a feeding this mythology. <laughs>